Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Vama and today we are learning Markov model. The definition of Markov model says it is stochastic method for randomly changing system that possess the Markov property. Here stochastic means which contain random variables. So it contain random variables for a system which is randomly changing and that possess the Markov property. Now we are learning the Markov property. It is also called memorylessness. The Markov property or memorylessness says that next state is dependent on current state and independent of anything in past. The meaning is next state dependent on current state means if we are moving further then we are only considering the current state and independent of anything in past means the past experience we are not considering. So to take the further decision we should only consider the current part. We will forget about the past. This is Markov property. As we are not considering the past experience means we don't require any memory. So this is also called memorylessness. The next thing is Markov model use concept of state and transition. To understand this we are taking the help of the diagram. Here we are having the two sides of a coin. One is head, another is tail. So these are the states or we can say that head is state 1 and tail is state 2. So states are the condition of a system. Now let us suppose that we are on the state 1 which is head and when we toss the coin so there is possibility that we can go to the tail means we are moving from state 1 to state 2 this is called transition. So transition means change one state to another. So here we can see that we are on head and we are moving to tail. This is the transition and here we are considering the current state. There is one more possibility that when we toss the coin from head we can also get head again. So this is the self loop. This is also a transition. So from head we are having two options. That means one option is from head we are going to tail. So the probability is 0.5 and from head we can also go back to the head. So probability is 0.5. So these are the probability of transition. In the same way if we are on the tail, from the tail if we toss the coin we can go back to the head or we can also get the tail again. So these are the two probability and their probability is 0.5 to get the head and 0.5 to get the tail. So this is the state transition diagram. So the Markov model follow state transition diagram in which the randomly changing system follow Markov property and the Markov property is the next state is dependent on current state only. They don't talk about the past state because the past state is not there that's why memory is not required so it is also called memorylessness. Now we are learning types of Markov model. The types of Markov model are based on two categories. The first category is types when system is autonomous means there is no influence of external agent. And here the first type of Markov model is Markov chain. Markov chain is used when all the states are observable. Means if we are on one state and we can observe the other states then we can use Markov chain model. There are further two types of Markov chain. The first is discrete time Markov chain which is also called DTMC. As the name signify discrete time means the transition is on fixed interval. And the second type of Markov chain is 
continuous time Markov chain, which is also called CTMC. As the name signify, continuous time means the transition is on any point of time. Now further, when the system is autonomous, the second type of Markov model is hidden Markov model that is also called HMM. Hidden Markov model is used when some states are not observable. Not observable means they are not directly visible. Let us suppose that we are on one state and on the other side the states are not observable or they are not properly visible then we use hidden Markov model. So these are the two types of Markov model when the system is autonomous. In most of the books we will find these two types which are the main types of Markov model. There is another category of the types of Markov model and that is types when system is controlled. System is controlled means it is influenced by external agent. So based on this category Markov model is of two types and the first type is Markov decision process. The Markov decision process is used when we have reliable information. When the system is controlled, the second type of Markov model is partially observable Markov decision process. The partial observable Markov decision process is used when we don't have reliable information. So these are the types of Markov model based on two categories. Now we are learning their applications. The application of Markov chain is speech recognition and prediction of market. In Markov chain, states are observable, means we can observe the states. These are the known states. So here in the speech recognition, we can recognize the speech because words are known. We can observe them. In the same manner, we can predict the market because we are having our experience. So based upon that, we can predict that. The application of hidden Markov model is pattern recognition. Here some states are not observable means we are not aware about all the states. In the same manner, in pattern recognition, we recognize the pattern. These patterns are not known to us, but we recognize them. Next is the application of Markov decision process and that is behavioral science. Here we are having the reliable information so we can study the behavior. Next is the application of partially observable Markov decision process and that is robotics. Here we don't have the reliable information just like in robotics, robot is not aware about the environment. So these are the applications of different types of Markov model. So that's all for today. Thank you.